Oh my gosh, that's a giant salmon. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Dude, he's pulling. Oh my gosh, nope. Oh my gosh, he's fish. I got a fish, guys. Gosh, I don't even know if I can get him in. Made it out to the river here guys and I am super excited. My only goal for this whole trip, we are out here for two days today and tomorrow, my whole goal is just to catch a steelhead. I've never caught a steelhead. We went two years ago, I got nothing. So we're gonna try my best to catch a steelhead in one of these days. So the weather's already a lot better than last time. So that's a good start. But hopefully we can get on a fish. I see a salmon right here. Wait, where is he? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that's a giant salmon. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's a it's a big one. Come here, mate. But goodness gracious. Oh my gosh. I don't even know if I can get him in. Like he's gonna break this line. Oh my gosh. There's no way I'm landing this thing. There's zero way I'm gonna land this guy. He's literally gonna I'm gonna break all my line off. Can't get nothing on him. There, come here. Come back this way. Oh. My line didn't break, that's good. But it came off. So I got a float set up now with a little pink bead right there because I heard that pink beads were working right now. So we'll see how this goes. I don't really know how to fish with this thing. I mean, it's pretty simple, but I guess the hard part is finding depth and all that stuff, so. Guys, I have no idea what I'm doing, by the way. And I'm pretty sure you know that. So if you're watching this video in hopes that you're going to learn something, just go to a different video. I'm just going to be honest. But if you want to watch me try and succeed, then stick around. Starting to see a bunch of fish swimming around, so. Just as I first suspected when I saw those school of fish that they were suckers, they were suckers. I finally got a close enough look to see that they're actually suckers. There's some pretty big ones though, dadgummit. So we came to the second spot and we stopped at the bait shop and got these little uh, spawn sack things. I don't really know. Oh my gosh, I got a fish. Yep, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Dude, oh my gosh, there's a fish. Don't get around that stick. I need to tighten his drag, but he's also a big one. Is he under that stick? Oh, he's under that stick. I gotta go over there. I have to do this. I have to go under there and get out. That's probably not good for my reel, but that's what I need to do. Oh my gosh, dude, come here. Oh my goodness. Dude, he's pulling. Oh my gosh. Come here. Oh, I'm just gonna walk over to him since I can. Cause he's just peeling, dude. He is straight just, oh my gosh. Nope, don't, I don't want you going out there, buddy. I don't want you going out there. Nope, you're coming with me. Oh no, he's not coming with me. Cause the second he gets in that current, it is no good, no good for me. You gotta get out of there, bud. You gotta get out of here. Come on, mate. Try to pull him over here. Oh my gosh. 
he does not look like he's hooked in the mouth though. That's for sure. That's unfortunate because I don't want to snag him. Gotta grab its tail or something like that. That's okay. Yep. Oh my gosh. Dude. Okay. That is probably the biggest fish I've ever hooked. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at the size of that fish right there. I can't believe it. What the heck? I mean, again, he was not hooked the right way, but that is still an absolute beast of a fish and feels super, super good to actually hold one of them and show them to you guys. Just look at that thing. That is insane, dude. Oh my goodness. That is absolutely insane. Oh my goodness. We're gonna let him go because I think he's um doing a little... uh. All right, bud. Okay. Okay, it was like eight hours we were out there, but this is where we're gonna end the first day of the trip right there. And I'm happy I was able to at least feel the fight of a fish, but I hope tomorrow we can actually catch one in the mouth, catch it legitly. And tomorrow we actually have a trip, a big old trip planned, so just stay tuned for that video tomorrow. But the rest of the night, probably gonna chill at the pool or do something, eat some food, I don't really know, but I'm gonna take you guys along with because this is just a vacation, so. 6.54, day number two. About to eat some breakfast and head out back to the river and do some more fishing. Dude, hotel pancakes or waffles or whatever, top tier, just gonna say that. A little bit more chilly this morning it's about 40 degrees but we're starting off at the same the same spot that we've been fishing pretty much this whole time just chilling here on the river but later today we actually have some kayaks rented we're, we're gonna do a six mile float down this river and hopefully catch some more fish and be exposed to some new spots new waters and see if that can help us any but like i said we're just gonna fish here to start off the morning until we get out in the kayaks later but hopefully we can land one here so let's just get right into it Wait a second, was that a, yo, that was more aggressive than ground. I mean, I've been hitting ground, but like, that was different. Maybe not, I doubt it was a fish, but it's a struggle, I ain't gonna lie. Just laying out here on shore, eating some combos, refueling and refueling, and hoping I can catch fish later today. That would be pretty cool. Just got the kayaks, we have a six mile float and they've been reported to be catching rainbow and brown trout. Steelhead are not quite up here yet, but hopefully I can just catch a rainbow or brown trout because that would be pretty sweet. They're catching them on a rooster tail, so that's what I got on right now. Oh, that's a bass. That would be something I would do. Come all the way out here and still catch bass. It's super sweet being with a kayak out here and just go through the woods and the, the river. Super, super awesome. Hope we can connect on a fish, but even if not, we just get to enjoy a beautiful scenery. There's a nice like waterfall right behind me as well, but I'm just waiting for some boats to pass by and then I'm gonna head back out on the water and try to catch me a trout because I guess the steelhead aren't running quite yet. I mean, they're t more towards like the mouth of the river. They're not quite this far up yet. So that's just me being an idiot and mistiming and misplanning the trip, but it's okay. If I can catch a trout, I'll be happy. Oh my gosh, there's a fish. I got a fish, guys. Dad, I got one. Yes, sir. Come here. What is it? Dude, I actually have a fish. No way. I'm hooking a fish right now. Dude, what the heck? It's a little trout, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, that's just a little rainbow. I'm, maybe, I think. 
No, that's a little brown. No, rain. I don't even freaking know. Let me just hold it first. Oh my gosh. Yep, that's a little brown trout if I'm not mistaken. Let's go. We finally did it, guys. We caught a nice little brown trout right there, just on the little rooster tail. I can't believe it, guys. We actually got it. It's not a steelhead, but it's a fish. So I'm super, super stoked that I was able to catch this thing. And it's something other than a bass. So that's what we like to see. All right. Thank you so much for biting. And there you go, bud. We got the skunk out of the boat. Let's go. Oh boy, got about a mile left, guys. Well, this trip did not go as planned. I'll just say that right there. I completely butchered the timing of this trip. I was gonna go about like two, three weeks earlier, but then I never got around to actually planning it and going forward with that. That would actually been really good because then we would hit the king salmon run. But I came literally right in the in-between time where all the king salmon are pretty much dying because as you can tell by the king salmon in the video, that thing was pretty much dead. And I'm kind of upset that I snagged it. I, I did not mean to, but it just happened. I didn't, I wasn't trying to, I promise guys. I, I don't like snagging fish. So I don't even count that as my first ever salmon catch. That was just not a catch, but I got to hold it though. So that was pretty cool. Anyways. I butchered the timing, I missed the king salmon run by a few weeks, and I missed the steelhead run by a few weeks. So we went in, in between time where there literally was no fish in that river besides trout. So that was just completely my fault. But I'm definitely going to go back up there in March when the steelhead are spawning, time it a little bit better, and actually try to get on some steelhead, that is for sure. And next, uh, next September, October, when the king salmon start to come up, I'm going to go out again as well and try to catch a king salmon legitly and not snag it. So I got some big trips planned. You guys just stay tuned. And if you guys enjoyed this one, be sure to leave that thumbs up. And as always, folks, fish with passion. Uh -oh. Can somebody come and save me? I just want to know. I want to know